So OPR's front lower ball joint end that we're taking a look at today is going to be a good quality factory style replacement for the Mustang owner out there that's on a budget that didn't need to replace a worn out or a broken joint. So some typical signs of a bad ball joint can easily be characterized by the following. You're going to be hearing some clunking, you might have some bad vibrations, but from personal experience, what I've felt in the past is that the steering wheel has a tendency to travel a little bit easily. Now looking ahead to the installation, despite how small this sucker is, it's going to be a pretty involved one to three wrenches on our difficulty meter here and you should expect to be wrenching for about four hours. So manufactured from factory style equipment, this direct fit replacement is going to be manufactured out of a block of fine grain high alloy steel that's going to be for strength as well as durability. Now, this is also going to feature a powdered metal gusher bearing with grooves. What that essentially means is that it's going to allow grease to flow through the joint to the stud to ensure you're going to have a long life out of this part. Now, additionally, this is going to feature a patented press-in cover plate, which is going to help minimize deflection and then give you better overall steering feel. A great thing about this ball joint is that it is going to feature a grease relief valve so you can flush out dirt and debris to extend its life. Now, the boot itself is going to be made out of a polyurethane compound that's going to be able to withstand and dirt, abrasion, as well as high temperatures. Now doing my job here, guys, I do want to call it out that this is a factory style replacement compared to the white line option that we do have back on the website. It's gonna be a difference of about five bucks, but between the OPR to the white line, your main difference is only gonna be the pressed in cover plates. But on the flip side of the equation here, in comparison to the Steeda offering, that's gonna run about 140 bucks, but that unit is gonna be geared towards a lowered car, and they're essentially gonna help get your suspension geometry back in a check, give you better steering feel, as well as improve the handling overall. Looking at the pricing here, expect to be spending about 40 to 50 bucks to get these onto your car per side. I will mention that if you were to pick these up from your local dealer, you would be looking at closer to around 100 bucks. Installation wise, you should expect to be wrenching for about three to four hours. It is a very straightforward job and we will be giving it one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter here. Now looking ahead here, guys, you're gonna need the entire toolbox. There's so much needed that I'm gonna have it listed right here. But at a glance here, guys, you're gonna have to get that car off the ground. You're gonna need to pull your wheels, tires, caliper, rotor, you're also going to need to disconnect the bottom of the strut from the spindle as well as pulling out your factory spring. But once everything's out of the way, it's more or less just going to be getting your new ball joint end in place and reinstalling everything in the opposite order, then you're good to go. So that's going to wrap up my quick review of OPR's front lower ball joint end fitting your 1994 through 2004 Mustang, which can be found right here at AmericanMuscle.com.